it's so clear that he wants an all-rounder. He, mm. You know, like kind of, you know, probably not that dissimilar to Vian Mulder in that hasn't got a lot of pace. Vian Mulder, I find, almost never bowls. We've seen now batting performances from him in the SA20. I'll tell you what, he good. could be making a case for himself as a flippin' pure batsman at the way he's going. And off, off the SA20 form, comes straight into the four-day series and bangs 100. So, yeah, are you so you still picking Vian Mulder as your all rounder mm. if you if you're picking that 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 extra a batting um, orientated one? I, I still think he's. I I'm a big Vian Mulder fan. I I there for me, there's a world class player in there, and the right coach is gonna give, is gonna bring it out of him eventually. I'm hoping that this SA20 could be a turning point because they gave him the responsibility and he and he stood to the occasion. I mean, he bailed. He bailed out um, Durban throughout yeah. the tournament so often. Um, yeah. he, 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 that was the nice thing. He played pressure innings throughout the tournament and, and rose to the occasion every single time. Um, yeah. And he's just too good for me. He's just You know, you just watch the cricket and you just look at him and you think this guy is too good not to succeed. And it's frustrating me that he hasn't. But I mean, everything. I mean, I think his bowling is... I don't think he bowls enough these days to really be... to 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 be able to hone in this craft. But I look at him with the bats and I see a batsman there. He's phenomenal in the field. I mean, the kid was playing his like second test and he was building a first slip because he's so yeah. good in the slips. So there's a, there's a cricketer there. But this again, how, I bring it back to look how, look how that Proteus shirt wears in it. You can see how nervous he is. Yeah. And and it can take one innings. Obviously, it's often it, it can be that there's that is a breakthrough season and maybe this is his season. I do think it might be his last shot, to be fair. Um, and he's taking the the best way of doing it is taking you know your form from the domestic scene into it. So I do think for me it's his last shot. He's showing good form, but if he he, he can't be debilitated by the pressure yeah. because I, th- I that, think at the end of the day is exactly what Test cricket is about. Yeah, I, th- I think it's two things. You know, I think it's it's he needs that one release, but I think he needs the environment as well. You know, as I said, I, I always keep saying, I said, you know, the right coach is going to get him right eventually. You know, and I think certain coaches have done that with players, where they've managed to create an environment where certain players can thrive. What I want to see with him is if this is going to be his last go, which is fine. We actually play a reasonable amount of test cricket at the end of the year. I think we've got three series, also what was back to back. So if you're going to back him as your all rounder, back I'm him really. as your all rounder and say, right, Fian, mm-hmm. you've got six tests basically you know i i believe that you are exactly what we need i'm going to give you i'm going to give you the backing we're going to back you we're going to play you in the right position we're going to give you all the opportunity but now then you need to come back and and, and give us results and if they do that and it fails it fails but if, i think if i think there are certain players that if they get the right backing they get the right run of games they can they can build themselves yeah. into into really good players listen there are certain players that earn the right like Markram, I feel, to because you can see mm. what is laying beneath the surface to get that extra chance. Um, and that's paying off for the Proteas and what he's bringing to South African cricket in all three formats. Um, I'm still not convinced that Vian Wilder has that type, that, the, the same ceiling as him. But there's really just the real issue is that there's no one rivaling him. There's no other, there's no real all rounder competition. Mm. Um, We've been desperate for a batting all rounder since Colors left. And this is, and, oh, this, and that mean, was the problem is that this kid starts playing cricket at 19 years old as a batting all rounder, scores his scores first class century before he's 20. And what are they going to do? Oh, cool. He has the next Colors. What has happened to Brevis? Oh, here's the next AB. And we go and we yeah. murder these poor kids' chances of success by telling them how phenomenal they are at a young age, and these sort of these prod- prodigies get pushed through and then don't fail. Marka Janssen's completely opposite. Wasn't necessarily a prodigy, sort of came through just simply because he was playing so well at a, at, a, at not an, at, a, at a 19, for example. He's still young, and he's just managed to just take step. I mean, he's. I think we've all been surprised at how big his threshold is has, has become. Um, but it's amazing how different his journey has been to mm. your Vian Mulders, you know, a, a brave less to the extent because yeah. he hasn't been pushed to the international side just yet. But the, the pressure yeah. that we put on these kids. I do think that the SA20 is actually going to do a, a lot mm. of good for that because you can't replicate a full stadium with the game on the line. Like, and largely for people who, are, and, and I know not a lot, not necessarily, for example, Beddingham doesn't play a lot of um, test cricket. Hamza is not in the SA20. But there are people who are transferring across and will play both. Almost all bowlers will will play T20 and, and test cricket. Um, and that pressure will slowly kind of coach these youngins who are otherwise generally playing in empty stadiums um, mm. just domestically with no more pressure than the selection um, 
and you know their c- careers, but you know bringing it onto the field. And I think that's where Test cricket yeah. is the big differential: is what can you do when every when all eyes are on you right now, and you know you, you're away in India. <laughs> can you well, can you well, take the heat? Here we go. Let's talk about the heat. Baz Ball and the savior of Test cricket, 